Hi everybody, I'm Lene Gehrig and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. Um, I am excited today to bring you some fall cards. We have had some requests for Thanksgiving cards, so I have one here for me today. Uh, from our friends at Stampendous, this one is, I, this is so, so funny. Get your fat, fat pants ready, Thanksgiving is on the way, for sure. We all wear a little roomier clothes on Thanksgiving, don't we? So this is a great little cling rubber stamp. And uh, my friend Debbie made this card. She used some really great products here. She's got the Dotted Duos number three, which is more of a fall set of polka dots, which are among my favorites. Um, she used Tri Blend markers um, to color um, her little Thanksgiving feast. And she also used, let me grab them, <laughs> uh, these fall themed sparklets as well. All right. And they've got all kinds of beautiful little sparklies and some fall leaves on there. So that is a fun card. I can't wait to make that one myself. Also from Stampendous, this is a really cute card. This one is actually Kling Autumn Truck. And I have some cards here. This one is from, uh, made by Stampendous Designers. Here we go. And I love this because they did this in a, like a denim blue ink and did rust on the truck. So it's just a rusty old farm truck. You've got your farm cats on there. Just wanted to say is the greeting. But then they also did another card. Here we go. With a completely different feel to that where it's, you know, still a farm truck, but it's a nice cheery red. So I thought that was really clever. And I love those cards and the differences that they have there. Also from our friends um, at Penny Black, the Acorn and Animals set, which I love these. You could take these well into, well, really any season. And here's a card that Debbie made, and she used some color bend, blend um, colored pencils from um, Spectrum Noir. It's a great set. Let me open this up. It's just such fun to play with. Look at that great selection of colors. And um, so Debbie did some coloring um, just on a blank white card and she used some foam tape here to, after she cut out her little critters, she foam taped those. And once again, she used those fall sparklets on there. So that is a really fun card. And don't forget that um, on the back of all of the um, Penny Black um, stamp sets, they do a great job at giving you a card idea there. Um, oh, I should mention as well that she also, Debbie also used some copper um, jewel dazzles on there just for lots of sparkle. And then this card, oh, I love the Autumn Bliss Pumpkins, which is just gorgeous. Look at the color on these. And I'm going to show you this technique. <clears throat> Debbie taught this to me, and I want to share it with you. So um, what she did was is she took some, um, some stencil tape or drafting tape, and she actually took the tape for her background here, she actually took some tape like this, and then she tore it so that she would have a torn edge, right? Just like this. And then she put that on her paper, okay? And then she did an inking technique using, uh, this is the Harmony Water Reactive Ink, and this is the Lagoon color. You can see she did that here. And then she also used the pine tree ink as well. And she used our new favorite ink blending brushes to achieve that. So let me show you um, how she did. She used a sort of medium size to a large size brush. Let me get out my craft sheet so as not to make a mess. All right, and she started off with that lagoon color, just pouncing that brush a little bit. And she, she went right onto the tape so that when the tape is removed, she's gonna have that beautiful torn edge. There we go. And just continuously brushing that lovely color until we got down to the, towards the bottom edge and that switched right into the pine tree color. And that just goes along the bottom edge.
Okay, so I'm just gonna finish this side right here. And we wanna go pretty dark on the pine tree. All right. So that when this is torn away, you've got that pretty torn edge right there on your background. Really clever, I love that, Debbie. Um, okay, so then we've got this little pumpkin. If you can zoom in on that a little bit, Houston. Um, and she, uh, Debbie, white embossed on white cardstock, this beautiful pumpkin, and she used this one right here. And she's the smaller brush. And then we're gonna do uh, Distress Inks. We're gonna do Distress Oxide Dried Marigold. And just a little bit of that. It's kind of an orange color. And she started on one side of it. And because we're gonna um, cut these pumpkins out, we can just go ahead and go outside the edges. Don't worry about that. So basically the right, or excuse me, the left side of the pumpkin is gonna be more orange. And then the scattered straw color is on the right side. As you can see, those colors just are gonna be blending together, it's just so pretty. And actually you can go right into the flowers Make sure you caught all those little areas in between, okay? Because then she used the tri-blend markers in a purple and a blue, and the flowers she did, some purple on the little flowers. I'll do another one here. And you see that's just gonna cover up any inking that got on the flowers. And then, green for the stems like that. And I believe for the larger flowers, she used a coral color, which I didn't grab. So there you can see how that's done. So once again, beautiful card with the leaves. She just stamped those on cardstock and also used the tri-blend markers to color those. We have a great money saver on this for you today. Make sure you check that out so you can get all your fall cards done and you'll be all ready for Thanksgiving. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next week.